so here's a story you might want to know. Apparently, last night I was playing Sonic Boom and I fell asleep, and that never really happens to me. Now, I'm not saying that the game is boring, okay? Is that I felt really tired, okay? I don't know why I just felt really tired. So, I'm hoping to not do that again. Plus, I don't even know if the game saved because I guess my mom turned off my Wii U and she didn't say she turned off her, my TV, but when I woke up, it was turned off, so that's kind of bizarre. So, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't. So, that was weird. I've really never done that. Ever. Anyways, I'm going to play more Sonic Boom in a second after the vlog is over and up, you know, upload and all that. But today, um... I did mention briefly that the Halo, the Master, the Halo, you know, Halo Master Chief Collection has was released the same day as Digimon All Star Rumble and uh, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, I didn't talk much about it, including the other game I want to talk about right now, or I mean, in a second. So apparently, there has been issues with the multiplayer of Halo Two Anniversary. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm guessing they just weren't prepared or something. It happens. It happens. So they're going to fix it. That's great. I haven't seen any Let's Plays yet on Halo 2 Anniversary. But it, it's now out. So go get it. I, it's one of the games I would buy myself if I have an Xbox One. I really would. Um... But there is uh, some games I am now saving up for Black Friday. Because I've been looking at some of the sales going on at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and GameStop. Some One of the four main for me. Uh, for me. Not saying it's for you, but for me. So, basically, GameStop are doing the whole buy two, get one free like they do every Black Friday. But I want to know what else would be on sale. They haven't posted it yet on the internet. It'll be next week. So, Monday or Tuesday or something, or whatever. Whenever, for sure, next week, we will have the new weekly ad for uh, Black Friday. For Walmart, they have, like, really nothing going on that I could tell of, because their section under their Black Friday sales was not making sense to me at all. So, it's kind of like, what the fuck? So, I went to Target. Apparently, Target's actually doing something pretty good. But I don't know if I would do it. But, but it's really good. This is it. Um, buy two, get one free. On anything. It's, it could even be brand new. I'm pretty sure of this. I read it. Everything looked new. Nothing was pre-owned. Nothing was used. All new. If, if they have new or used stuff, sure, go ahead. But all video games, buy two, get one free. Only video games. Not accessories, not consoles. Only the video games. So, uh, I haven't really looked at who has the better price for the newest consoles, as in the Wii U, PS4, and Xbox One, or the Vita 3DS XL, and or Ouya. Yeah. That's even a thing for you guys now. But uh, Best Buy is the one that intrigued me the most because they have two games on sale on Black Friday. I have no idea if I would do it by online or by store. These are the two games I'm wanting to get by them. Uh, the first one, which was like the second game or third game on the list when I saw their Black Friday ad, was uh, The Walking Dead Season 2. Uh, Give Me the Year Edition. Or it's not Give Me the Year, but it's kind of like that. It just has all the games in one. That's fantastic. Now, the game goes for about 30 and They're selling it for 20 That's awesome. <laughs> That's really good. That's awesome. So... Uh, be five dollars for each story. If there's four, then yeah, that's twenty. Then, not thirty. So, I understand they bumped up to ten because it's a retail version. So I understand that, but I wanted for sure twenty. That's a good price. Uh, the next thing I saw on the website was Borderlands the pre sequel. I'm not too big on Borderlands. I do have the first two games, but Borderlands the pre sequel is going to be thirty dollars. For the PS3 and 360. Uh, that's pretty badass. Nonetheless. Um, 
I have no idea if you're going to sell out like crazy. I'm pretty sure they are because it's a brand new game. So that's something you have to probably go through the online. So if I'm going to do both of those games online, it'll come out cheaper because, well, uh, it'll be free shipping for anything that's above $30 or $35. So both of them together will be more than $35. So that's that. But the thing is, I still have to figure out what's going to be GameStop's uh, plan. I got to still see on that. Plus, I have to see uh, what games I want desperately at GameStop for to buy two, get one freeze, because I know they're going to do it. I'm, I'm already t uh, like heading towards the game's journey for the PS3, which has a collection, as like the game Flower and something else. So Journey is a really big possibility for me. The second game is uh, maybe kind of a game. I mean, like, pick one I want it now, picking it up, I don't know. Uh, was is Jack and Daxter HD collection? I've seen it thousands of times, and uh, the last time I went, not getting Sonic Boom or Digimon, but the before time, the land before time, the before time of uh, getting One Piece Limited Adventure and or Advance Wars Days of Ruin is the time I was gonna buy it for sure. But then I saw One Piece and that just like what nothing, fuck you, <laughs> kind of way. So those those two games, which are both twenty, so I have to get a game at least same price or lower. I have no idea what I'm going to get. Not a one. Uh, I have to look around. Really, I'm pretty sure it's most likely maybe going around around the PS3 section or okay. Really, it could be anything. It could really honestly be anything, but. The options are there. So those two games, I know they're usually at game subs all the time. So I'm going to be looking out for those two. Uh, and then, I know I know game subs is going to be pulling out the big guns with the gate. It's like, oh yeah, okay, it's holiday season. Now let's just take every good game we have in the back and shove it into the store. And then they'll sell it crazy. I know they're going to do that because they do that every year. That's actually one of their schedule plans to do. Um, one of the game sub employees are thinking... Uh, South Carolina or something like that, I don't know, or South Dakota, I don't remember, said like this and this, and it was like a store manager, he never got fired, I think he still works there, so that's pretty cool, uh, I think he just have, like punished him or something, but not firing him, but whatever, so, but he went, he released that news like two years ago, but I don't even know if it's relevant now, but it's possibly still true, and people probably forget about it, but I don't know. So, yeah, but you're all going to be asking, Shadow, where's your plan on getting uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire slash Smash Brothers for the Wii U? This is my plan, <laughs> okay? My plan, if it comes down to the point that I need to take out money from my credit card, or no, sorry, my debit card, to get Journey and Daxter, Jack and Daxter HD Collection, and whatever else I have to get, I'll do that. And use the rest of that money on probably the website part for Walking Dead and the pre-sequel. So, I'm set on that part. But then a lot of you might be asking, again, but what about Kingdom Hearts and the NES uh, Remix Pack for the Wii U? Oh, and, you know, PS3 for Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to try my best to get... For sure, I will be getting Kingdom Hearts. That's a guaranteed. But I'll try my best to get NES Remix pack for Wii U. It's 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 really getting to the point that I'm like, wow, holiday season is killing me. Yes, I might my money be flashing back to my eyes after holiday season is over, and y'all probably be saying, you still need to buy presents for your family. Like that's super true. That's super true. So I have to pull off a miracle. I have to pull off a miracle. So, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be crazy. So that is my Black Friday plan for right now. For right now. Okay, so we just got so far the Halo 2 anniversary uh, multiplayer is having issues. My Black Friday plans, <laughs> um, which I still have to figure it out if it's still going to work out until... Uh, next week about uh, 
yeah, except to figure out if it'll be fine next week and have a whole new week to see if it'll be better. So, uh, also, um, Tales of Hearts R has launched today, or not today, yesterday. Same with Halo Anniversary, say Halo Two Anniversary. Uh, that was hard. Halo Master Chief Collection, the uh, Sonic Boom and Digimon games. So Tales of Hearts R is now out for the Vita, which is another game I totally want to have, but I can't. So that is a thing. That is a thing. I really will... Um, I'm now getting to the point I want a Vita. And don't worry for the console. Like I said, the PS4 and Xbox One thing is still in debate. I still have a long time until the biggest games for me come out, like Arkham Knight, Kingdom Hearts 3, and whatever else is coming out. I know those two are both third parties, so it could be right out, whatever, at this point. So, yeah. We're still heading towards more of a Vita right now. So, anyways. That's really it for today, everybody. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow to tell you how uh, this game is in my possession now. X-Blaze Code Embryo. Because I have an unboxing to show you on that eventually. The vlog after it releases. And stuff. I'll tell you on November 13, 2014, Thursday. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye.